Grungs to go hunt a Gub Gub. And we are hunting a Gub Gub, a giant insectoid creature uh, in this bio. It looking quite bioluminescent itself in this bioluminescent environment. We are about one round only through this fight, I think. Does that mm-hmm. sound Dip. correct? Mm-hmm. And so far, the party is handling it well. Mm-hmm. That's the good news. Let's go ahead and move on over to that page. And if you're not on that page, let me know. But everything should look mm-hmm. as it was where we left it. And I think we're going to carry on at the top of initiative. So fun. Oh. So much drama. It is your turn. Hey, this is the tone I remember. <laughs> it's not the same <laughs> song, but... I know. I was just kidding. Oh, no. The beast has disengaged the easy listening. <laughs> you're right. I should have made, like, second stage battle yeah oh well uh, yeah uh, anyways okay uh top of initiative right yeah it's your show currently all right uh i am going to do not a show through i'm going to stab <laughs> this thing with a side knife oh that will get through for sure is there any right. other stuff happening with that uh oh, sneak watch. damage happening whoa oh. and fuck it we're also going to chuck the divine smite in uh let's go with a level one slot for this one. Oh, I think you got this. I'll, I'll see you later, Sheriff. <laughs> so that looks like oh. 31 damage total. Yeah. Uh, 9, 11, 11. Never nine. forget. <laughs> Wait. Wow. <laughs> no. 22, uh, 29. Oh, wow. I got no, 31. 31. 31. Yeah. yeah. 31. Okay. 11 plus 11 plus 9, right? Yeah. We're, we're, don't, don't mess with me. I'm already not confident with my math. <laughs> See, I uh, put good. the two into each of the nines, and I made two tens, and I ten, ten, and eleven. That's not what I did at all. I know. I'm just. I heard what you did. I, I thought yeah, it was I did thing. nine plus eleven plus eleven. Sure. To, who, who, who to make it the twenty. Uh, <laughs> I care. I thought it was interesting. That was my whole speech. One plus two. One plus two. Plus two. Uh, uh, well, I had a whole math my rant burning in my mind on the way home that I was going to bring up, but I forgot, and I'm not going to do it now, even though it's topical. Uh, <laughs> you are now coated in a bioluminescent viscous fluid as basically from this creature's mandibles after that psychic attack, it sprays you with its inner juice. Yeah. Unless you're into that, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll stick by you. Is there any other bits from Flint? It just sounded like everything Sans moved. Uh, oh, let's see. I didn't have that keep going. Interesting. I'll fix that thing. You know, technically, I still have a bonus action available to me. <clears throat> yeah, somehow none of that is uh, is a bonus to that. Yeah. Uh, honestly, though, I think I'm right where I want to be. I mean, sans bug juice. Okay. In that case, it will be Aaron Noah's turn. Okay. <clears throat> um, using my bonus action, I'm going to... I already counted this out. Have Steel Defender move right over here and attack the thing. Uh... Let me change this real quick. There we go. Attack. Oh! Oh! That's a crit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten force damage. Yeah. Um, and then Aranoa is going to go ahead and move on back here next to Ursaula um, and shoot off my... Wait, actually, how far am I now? Perfect. I'm going to... <sighs> Sorry, that was me sawing at my cat. It was being annoying. Go ahead. <laughs> No, it's okay. I was rereading a spell real quick. Um, <clears throat> I keep going back and forth. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cast Catapult um, and use one of the sea monkey teeth that I have <clears throat> as the thing that's being catapulted. Oh, yeah, it's a deck save. Deck save. That's what that is. And plus this. That is a total 16 from this creature. I think that passes. It right. makes it, yeah. So that mean, no damage. Okay. You, you watch it kind of just twing off the front plate of this creature. That's my turn. <clears throat> um, it didn't have to make any saves on any of that, right? Because a reminder that the it did. Yeah, it just it made did. a save. It did. It did. It did. Shit. What was it that it had to happen? Uh, I have a what was it? It was mind sliver. Uh, subtract a d4 from the next saving throw. Oh, oh nice. Okay. And it will still need to roll, just in case. That might make all the difference, because... I botched, so it's still a 15. It still passes. Uh, Oh, so close, though. The one time you don't want the DM to botch on their roll. Yeah. That's crazy. (laughs) 
Uh, Which means that we just continue along the botch conga, right? I mean, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, keep it up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were botching last time too, man. This creature. I know. Uh, okay, so Flint, I'm going to need a uh, strength athletics. Wait, sure. I need you to make an opposed strength athletics or uh, or or dexterity if you'd rather do dexterity, acrobat. On it. Because this thing is coming to you. What did it do on its last turn? Uh, much of the same of what it's doing right now. Which a is... Bunch of apples. To None which, of which Channing. Just looking... F- There's a lot of text here. My problem. Oh, I missed this maneuver. Oh, I'll have to remember that for later. Where is it? Ah, that's what. So plus that. Oh, all right. You watch this claw just graze past you as it misses. I need one more. You're right there in front of it. I'm feeling good about this. This time I'll be faster with my nice. stuff. Oh, yeah. That one misses you too. Uh, one of one of those tendrils is coming after Shra. The other one is coming after Tau. Uh, ranged that. So the one at Shra that is a sixteen to hit. Does that hit you? As this tendril, um, my AC is sixteen. Also, it has disadvantage from Steel Defender. <clears throat> oh, good to know. Sorry, I thought they were making checks, not attack rolls happening. Okay, never mind. That one misses you. Completely. Tower. Yes. Also is missed. <gasps> Woo! And that will conclude what it's doing right now. It is your turn, Tower. Uh, Tower is going to go ahead and continue to try to wallop away at this thing. Um, here comes a magical martial arm as an attack. Here comes Fat Bottom Girl with an, an elbow drop. Here. <laughs> comes a follow-up uh, kick just to see if I can connect it all with my bonus art action martial arts. That kick will finally find something Ooh. softer. And it, that kick is also going to graze a genital on this thing <laughs> and, and ask for a constitution save to see if it's stunning. <laughs> Your genital con. grazing is stunning. Okay, <laughs> that's what its con is, unless, did it have anything extra? Is that what you two get up to at night? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Stunning strike. <laughs> Gently graze somebody's nuts. <laughs> I want you to say something. So, so. Uh, it will be stunned. Fuck, what's the meme? For the Fuck, time yes. <laughs> just a little <laughs> flick. <laughs> Excuse me, did you just... So true. <laughs> oh, I I did uh well <laughs> Try it's your turn. Now I'm gonna whip it. Whip it good. Get a troll. Oh, you are gonna whip it good. Damn. That should have advantage because of oh. stunningness, but you know, it should be fine either way. You might crit though. Yeah, let me, yeah. Let me roll a Okay. And then okay. I'll turn on advantage for the second one. If it will go. Uh, yep, that will work. Another five. Oh, yeah, I have a bite attack. Is that better than the whip? Mm. Eat Slightly. the bug. Eat I the will, bug. I will next time. Okay, doing some work. Anything else from you? No. We are back to Flint. If it's still up, that is. Certainly. I, I mean, when it gets to be next time. All right, uh, this time I'm going to remember to use my bonus action to take aim so that I can make this next attack at advantage. And then I'm a stab it. Damn it. Yep. Do you, okay. You had advantage already for this one? Oh, right. It's currently stunned. Well, in that case, uh, sneak happens. Uh, smite level one. <laughs> Damn. Just just keep hitting it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. More goo sprays in your general direction. You're getting the sense this thing is tanky, both, in the, both literally and figuratively. Mm-hmm. All right. And then I'm going to just I'm going to spit, assuming that I got, like, bug juice in my mouth at some point. I'm sure. You dry son of a bitch, why won't you die? The way I would actually describe the lighting and feel in this zone is, like, <clears throat> if it was completely lit by a black light. Mm-hmm. Your mother uh, you was have... an keg and your father smelt of elderberry. <laughs> you have no idea if this creature can comprehend your language. I don't like care, the... I just want to yell at it. Like the aquarium part at Six Flags? Sure. <laughs> is that everything for Flint? I think you had yep. to use your bonus. To do, well, you didn't need to do that, so but you did. I mean, what you to be fair, do, there's right? nothing else I'm going to do with it, so we're sure, good. Sure, sure. Aaron Owen. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> is there anything back here that I could get, like, partial cover behind, like, this thing? I don't, I don't know what those are, but... Uh, that's more of, like, plant, like a, like a fern. I don't know how much cover that would exactly give you. Uh, but things like this, that's a, that's a part where there's, like, a cave, uh, the cave walls jutting out. Does that make sense? Like, sure, yeah. Like, you're, you're tucked away back here, for sure, or over in, uh, not from it right now, but... Okay. Everything um, else is, like, low to the ground. That's okay. I'd rather stay near Ursaula, so I will hang out here with her. I'm gonna fire off my vicious short bow at the bug. A uh, one, two, and steal the... What? Uh, I guess roll... you have advantage? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I guess roll two d20s just to okay. see what happens here. Uh, oh, Those, it kind of yeah. works out the same way. So, one shot well, goes... that bug would become a 20 then, right? Because it's a plus eight. Yeah. I know it's like a 12 on the D20, but... Oh, that, that's true. That's true. Uh, but anyways. Uh, eight. Okay. Total 15 off of that shot. All right. Um, and Steel Defender will go ahead and attack as well. And... Can I... Can I try to, like, scoot Ursaula a little bit? Like, just try to move her just in this kind of direction. Even if that means I only move, like, five feet this turn. Uh, technically, you can move with someone at half your movement. Sure. So. Is that a yes? Yeah. Okay. Um. Then yeah, I'll try to move myself and Ursaula back in this kind of direction. Though we're not directly in front of it. If it had like a spray or something. And that's my turn. Excellent. Did that really stop again after I told it to repeat? Yeah, I put on Starship Troopers for a minute, but that also. <laughs> in- oh, I know why. I, I I need to put loot. Mm. No? Yeah, it's on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's oh. on, but it's not. It's, uh, not, it's like... not looping. I yeah. get you. I mean, yeah, I didn't. I, I don't know. It's not type it out. Yeah, you gotta type it out. Like type out loop or type out repeat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brian. <laughs> okay. Well, that should work. Let's see. Uh, cool. It's that thing's turn. It is now Tower's turn. Uh, Tower will continue trying to punch the thing. I mean, you know, why not? Why not? Um, um, here comes um, some attacks. It, it, what? Well, it went? Yeah. Well, it's done. Oh, it's not done. Uh, Uno with the magical martial arm. Um, that, will, that punch will finally get... Yeah, Woo! fat bottom girl will follow it up with a double overhead fucking sledgehammer oh, fist. Uh, she is gonna try to stun with that attack. Um, looking there we go. There's that. That's 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 not it. That's you shouldn't pay attention to that. It's a Constitution save. It is a Constitution save. Thank you. Oh God, what's happening? Okay. Uh, that it will pass. Fair enough. Um, I will blow another key point to flurry of blows and bonus action. Another set of attacks. Here's a one, and here's a two. Uh, that first one will work. Fair enough. And that will be Tower's turn. Yes. Okay. You see it kind of take those hits. The more color spray happens, not the spell, but just the visual... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it seems to be its senses seem to return to this creature mm-hmm. Shraw. I always forget to unwavering mark it so if I hit this time I'm gonna uh, do that what? <laughs> what? I tried to like click out of something and it must have clicked something else but what's coming up is input value element kills the party TPK what is this? What just happened? Where the fuck oh, are you? Oh, I know what this is. This is this is when I this supposed to be some kind of thing that's set up that I can just sh- say shit. Mm. Oh, you uh, just hit a macro is, is, by accident. Yeah, this is an old macro. Mm. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. You never had to use that macro. Uh, I was using it for a while, then I forgot it existed. Fair enough. It's mainly as a thing that it let me. It doesn't matter. Continue. Okay. A bite. It, it's still stunned. No. Bite number one. Here. 
Maybe. I feel like World 20's gotten worse with this for some reason. They did just add some stuff, so. That will just scrape against hard kite. Number two. That will find some soft meat as you hear more high pitched screams. How hungry are your jaws, though? Then I will unwavering mark it and. Oh, wait, no, I don't remove that yet. And I will use hungry jaws to fight again. Sorry, I'm just looking for something to unwavery mark it. Boink. Uh, that one will also just scrape against hard plate. Um, so here's a reminder of what that is. So it, it gets disadvantage on... Interesting. Any attack that's not attacking me. And then if it deals damage to anyone other than me, I can make a bonus attack on it on my next turn. Okay. That's it for me. Okay, we will deal with that when the time comes. It's your turn, Flynn. All right. We did not manage to stun it this turn, correct? correct? We did not. I use my bonus action. I stay put. I aim. I shove another side blade into its carapace. Yeah, you do. Whoa. Hell yeah. True. Sneak attack happens. Another level one smite. Jeez. 27 <laughs> damage. Flint putting in big numbers on this thing. Getting Ding. just, you are saturated in the, gu- the gub gub juice. Johnny Rico. You hear the sound of Flint working through a lot of frustration over this train job. <laughs> What's almost just as impressive as that is the fact that this creature, though looking very sliced up, is still not dead. Mm. There, Noah. Okay. I am going to pull out my magic arrows and use two of those for my attack this time. So whatever I roll... It's just a plus one to that, okay? <laughs> okay. I, I, sh- I should make a macro for it or something, but I don't want to. So there you go. Um, uh, <clears throat> so both that's of those a 17 are... and a 26 and 11 mm-hmm. and 8 damage. Yep, 19 total damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Steel Defender will fuck it up too, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Uh, In one way, it no. fucks it up. You watch the Steel <laughs> Defender just kind of like ram into it before bouncing back. <laughs> uh, it's it's doing the best it can. It will be its turn now. Disadvantage if it's not attacking me. Well, this is the thing that's happening is you see two more of these tendrils come out of its back as they kind of writhe behind it. I need everyone in, within 15 feet of this creature to make a dexterity saving <clears throat> Next save coming up. Does that Tower, include Steel Defender? You succeed. Flint, mm-hmm. you succeed. Yeah, everyone within 15 feet of this. That's a, a failure on Steel Defender's I, part. I pressed it, I swear. I believe you. <laughs> we can hang okay. back just a second and see if it pops. Mm. There, There's one. That is also a failure. So, one second while I look at this. But something other than you is about to take damage, so that should proc part of your cavalier thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I'm having to wait. Okay, that plus that. That is, yeah, 14 damage if you fail, 7 if you passed. Right. What kind of damage is this? This is slashing. Ah. Oh. Did a quick little tendril spin on us and cut us up. It's now having fully felt them. The ends of these tendrils seem to be almost bladed to an extent. Mm. Still made from the same buggy exterior, but to a point. Uh, I believe that does it. Uh, that being... Yep, yep, okay. that, is, that is true. Uh, sorry, oh. I have to switch off this page and look at a different page to make sure about things. So you know, I just realized back. something. Boom. Um... Cool. Tower is going to continue wailing away. This time, Tower itself is going to kind of take a step back and let Fat Bottom Girl have at it. Here's a one and a two. He is going to try to second one's good. Stun it with that second one. No, not up. He goes down when I use things. What's that much? Uh, 
Uh, okay. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, that was this number. Oh, con save, right? Yeah. Uh, it is just gonna fail. Woo! And it will take advantage on its bonus action, elbow to the face. Not the face, to the to the knee of this thing, based on positioning. Mm -hmm. And that will be my turn. Okay. I'm gonna... The area around it is beginning to puddle. Yes. I'm gonna start with my special unwavering mark uh, bonus attack. So I get advantage, and then if it hits, I get to add four to the damage. That Whoa. certainly hits. Nine. Or can't get to me. Oh, so it's still just before, or huh? the extra damage? That doesn't get doubled too, right? Dice get dammled on. Dammled. Dice get doubled on crits. No, if it's not. No, it's equal to half my level, so it's still just four additional, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Total. So, is that total thirteen? Uh, I moved away. Yes. And then here comes my two normal attacks. Great. Those two bites do not make it through this hard plate. How does Straw end this creature's life? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by biting and, and ripping a, a leg off and spraying it everywhere. <laughs> Flint, you are now drenched in even more guts <laughs> as this individual, as this entity finally collapses. How does it taste? And dies. Uh, acidic? Hmm. I don't know if any of you have ever fed a lizard type creature, mm -hmm. but they do a thing when they bite where they, they bite and then they it's like a extra little chomp to get things deeper into their throat. And that's what I picture when Hungry Jaws happens. It's mm -hmm. double, <laughs> a little like extra it. like comp. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like the first bite is really just to get it like to its mouth and then the second one is like to throw it back. Exactly. <laughs> Tower will stand atop the defeated foe and look over to the blow the blue frog person and point down and say, Gub Gub. Uh, as you're trying to do that, you see these frogs swarm you, but then move uh -oh. past you with packs as they start scooping goop into these glass orbs that you've seen before. Oh, I come and I fill up you. I come and fill up the two glass orbs that I have too. <laughs> sure. Um, I'm also gonna search this thing to see if I can scrap anything from it to reuse elsewhere. Okay. As Aranoa starts pulling out tools, Tower will say, I will remind you that we are on a tight site schedule. I'll just, schedule. I'll, if there's anything I can pull off quick, you never know. Sometimes there's there's good stuff. Oh, absolutely. Just a little reminder. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Why is my whole computer... I feel like our internet has degraded since we've decided to move. I don't know how that's possible, but it just feels like it's chuggy, you know? <laughs> yeah, I get you. So, please bear with me here. It's how fucked up would it be if we killed this big-ass bug monster and it didn't happen to be the big-ass bug monster they were looking for? <laughs> Alright, now that we're done with Grub Grub, we go to Glug Glug. Right. <laughs> I'd, I'd be lying if I didn't say I thought about it. <laughs> But, what could know. possibly be worse than a giant bug monster? Ooh, ooh, I know. <laughs> and it's literally like the same token, just one size larger. <laughs> oh. More hit dice. It's not even more hit dice. It's literally just a larger hit die size. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. Oh man, sorry. I was trying to trying to get something to come up, and it's not. I hate when that happens. It's pretty annoying. Yeah. It's very uh, disappointing for her, too. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad everyone let you just sit with that joke. <laughs> I was good with it. I don't care. Did we, or were we just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm too virile to ever have experienced it, so. <laughs> oh, well, too much has changed here, and I can't seem to get it working. <laughs> it just... My brain is still there. 
Yeah, I can't help you with that. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, that's weird. <laughs> Why? It happens it to everyone. Everything. I swear this has never happened before. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I'm sure you find something. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> My loot table's gone, so that's... Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Not the loot table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't make <laughs> the that loot either. table. That's really sad. That's really weird. It's making me angry. Uh, so, Aranoa is trying to, to get stuff off of it? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I know I've been making you roll something for that. Survival, usually. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, sorry. One more. I'm going to go ahead and add my flash of genius to this, no matter what happens. Uh, which is means it's a plus four. So 17. I'm going to roll a knowledge from a past life as well. All right. So that's a 22. <clears throat> and what exactly are you looking for besides the juice that is plentiful? I would say you could probably get a nice full, like, four by four plate off of this thing. Like, clean. Ooh. Okay. And maybe a mandible is probably, after everything that went down on it, would still be <clears throat> worth it. Okay, so a plate of gub gub armor, I guess? Uh, yeah. It Just for the sake of stuff, I would say, like, it's... It's about shield size. Okay. Uh, um, at this point, if you want to try and loot this, see if there's anything of value in this creature, you may. <laughs> I've made adjustments. <laughs> but I would oh, say also, that I'm going to go pick up my arrows. Of course. Okay, sure. I would say what, while Air Noah has been doing this, someone else could maybe do an investigation on this creature or something to see if anything of value happened to be oh, somehow. Oh, an investigation, you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not I'm the sorry. one I'm good at. Fuck. <laughs> Invest. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> what do you know, I am absolute dog shit at this. I'm okay. Ah, fuck it, I'll roll it. <laughs> and I'm going to throw my uh, my psychic knack at it as well. Does it does a ten do anything? You feel you dig your hands in the scoop. I will allow if someone wants to after as well. I'm just going to say, I will allow like someone else to also give it a shot if they want. But what Flint feels through all this nasty goop and muck, and you feel something hard, right? Somewhat round. And as you yank it free, kind of gives like a little if you heard that, like the suctiony wet mm -hmm. noise as it finally comes through from what you're digging in, you find the remains of a humanoid skull. <gasps> Um, can I approach it from, like, a nature standpoint, see if I know what this creature is and stuff? Uh, sure. I mean, really, it looks like a big-ass bug. I don't really of, know of, any of other... Of which... Yes? I don't... Yeah, I don't think you'd know specifically anything necessarily. Okay. I don't feel like underground bug creatures are your place of expertise, do you? No. <laughs> Uh, as everybody else has rolled a thing and, and Aaron o is finishing up her, her thing, Power will go ahead and roll that other investigation check. Sure. It shouldn't have, uh, but you see. Yeah. Can you roll a D100 twice, please? I would love oh, cool. to do that. That sounds actually like a lot of fun. Here's That's one. Okay. Good or horrifying. I'm not sure which yet. Oh, it sounds like a table. Okay. The first thing. Oh, God. Uh, the first thing you feel is cloth, like soaked <laughs> cloth. And as you kind of pull it free, it's this like faded gray. It looks worse for wear, but you, you're smart enough to realize like if this was in its digestive area and still is at least in this condition, it can't possibly be just cloth. And as you kind of like start draping it out, it does appear to be some sort of cloak garment oh i do believe um anything that would survive this digestive system might be something worth holding on to uh, it does definitely have a hood and then kind of goes back and just like doesn't have like a like a cape almost it, it would end about at a normal like what we would consider medium humanoid creature to mm -hmm. end at probably around the waistline but the waistline of this cloak is completely tatted mm -hmm. gotta be I, magical uh, and, <laughs> you would, like, put that in, well, it, it should have 
been completely sundered. Assuming right. you would put that aside mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and go more, you find a metal orb like object. Oh, oh, uh, somewhat crudely made. Uh, and as you look even closer, it has like it's metal, but the center on both on each. Wow, there's like four circular glass panels embedded in the metal that you can kind of see into the interior and a sloshy black substance within. With uh, the, the substances within the glass Inside bits? this orb. Like, oh. yeah. It's, okay. It, it seems like it has like four windows. Mmm, okay, okay. Like, along like this... Man, it's hard to really, like... It's an orb, and like, if you were to take an orb and look at it with one of the windows in front of you, there be like one on the other side of that and then two on the sides does that make sense yeah yeah it's like a a magic eight ball but with but instead of one hole to look at the bottom there's holes on the bottom the top yeah and, and there's side. and there's no triangular piece in the middle it's just like black sludge right right right, right. i got you yeah that i is got what, it in my head that's what you find this mm -hmm. uh seems like it could be interesting i can identify it when we get back Sure, sure. Speaking of getting back, I believe, uh, Grung Folk, you are a wonderful host, but we do have to be heading back to the train. Gab, gab. They kind of do a celebratory, like, this air pump. And that bottom I girl gives gives them a thumbs up as she fades away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're going to keep harvesting here, so you don't necessarily have to wait on them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to. I do believe we can find our way back. Unless we want to stay here. <laughs> uh, now that things have quieted down, you see a very goo... <laughs> like, from your pocket, Flint, you feel something crawl up to, like, an area that could peek out. And looking down, you would see, completely covered in goo, that uh, the little friend that you've made just, like, found spit more of the goo out of its mouth <laughs> and then a series of of sounds that you do not understand probably all the fun words <laughs> they don't look angry they just look like disappointed yeah it's hard to say <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna look down to them you and me both <laughs> So thank you for the good time, my good grungs. Never ask me for anything again. As I just <laughs> walk away completely goddamn coded, like I yeah. walked away from the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. That's about <laughs> what it looks like, <laughs> to be honest. You just nice. won the the Ooze of the Year Award. I don't know what it's fucking called. The Slime, the Slimies. Who knows? Uh, I'm sure Orsala will clean some of it off for you. Oh, great. Um, Time to slobber. Just what I needed. Birdie slobber. As we are crawling on out of the tight hole here. And the rest of the outer world loads back in. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, Tower's going to ask the rest of the group, is there any word from the trained folk? One moment. Uh, I, I mentally radio over to the guard. Anything of interest? Oh, shit. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was relieving myself, and you, you startled. Uh, nope. But uh, as I said, probably be a shit. How long have you guys been gone? Not too long. Probably a couple more hours yet. Didn't I say yeah. four? And you've been gone for hell, forty-five to an hour by my recollection. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, I think okay. we're on our way back. Matters have been attended to. Great. Everything's quiet here for now. You don't happen to have a source of water on that train right now, do you? Mm, depends how many toilets have been flushed. It's like a, a moment of silent <laughs> contemplation. Honestly, probably would be an improvement. I will say, toilet water gets a bad rap, but if your toilet's clean, isn't it just water? You know, I made an argument towards <laughs> the rats in the alley at a, at a rats rehearsal one night that had a very similar... Um, concept behind it. Brian, do you remember this this concept? Uh, that's not me dig, taking a dig at Brian for that or anything. Like that's no. just the common conception about toilet water, right? Like, ooh, yeah, yeah. toilet water is worse than water. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm like, but go ahead. Do you remember what I said about 
different parts of skin at at a, at a rats rehearsal once upon a time. Uh, <laughs> it's impossible to lick your elbow. I know that much. Nah, that wasn't it. If the person is a cleanly person, yeah, 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 yeah. If the person is a cleanly person, licking asshole is very much the same as licking any other part of their. That's all. That's all my argument was. <laughs> if the person is cleanly, and if you are, they should be. That's well, all. I mean, in that in that basic way, yes. But I will say that skin as a whole is not uniform. Like, oh our sure, lips no, 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 are no, different no. than our yes. palms. So in that way, no. But I, I, I hear you. Skin is skin. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, though, just the nature of of life and the way we're constructed, the skin to skin contact that the uh, asshole sits in. As clean as you can be, there's always going to be a level of funk because mm -hmm. two two bits of skin are pressed together and causing friction, right? Yeah, it's it's an armpit of the yeah. body. So sure. you know, there's that. I'm, I, I'm not trying to devil's ad. Say. <laughs> we can advocate like, for like, all the devils you want. Not like lick you. all the asshole you want. There's no shame. Really. Oh, uh, if only I could. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lick asshole. Lick asshole as much as you want. How about that? Sure, that. sure. sure. I love uh, that anyhow, no listening to this. I, I feel like this train is really off the rails now. Um, now we get back to it. The train yeah. that is our party <laughs> from Grungtown. Did I hear you mention? No, I didn't. Never mind. Grungtown has like a whole different sound to it now. And <laughs> 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 go down to Grungtown. We've, we've yeah, gone yeah, yeah, through yeah, the yeah. grung hole. We fought the beast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Welcome to the grung hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good times. Now, if I really wanted to go full blown, oh, I should have done that. But at full blown, like Rick and Morty, then yeah, the grunts would be like butthole liquids for sure, which they might be. You don't know. You get <laughs> sure. that deep into their culture. But there'd be somebody that was there, like, ready to talk about it immediately yeah. upon meeting. Oh, uh, Gigi, sure. you, you want to lick bums? But that's how we say hello here. You, uh, let's get licking. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. That's about how it would go for, from my perspective. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. So you can easily make your way back to Grunk Town. Ooh. Do we have any other business in Grunk Town? Yeah, do we need to go to Grunk Town? I thought we were just... Oh, I guess. Well, well someone yeah, said that. Yeah, that's, that's why the way we came. Yeah. Who run Grung Town? You will pass it. Yeah, that's the only way I know how to get back. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. Exactly. Cool. So, Heading on out. So I'm yeah. saying it's your choice. You can stop in Grung Town yeah. if you want. If there's somebody, like, if you wanted to take time to do mm -hmm. something, cool. Otherwise, you are also free to keep going. And you will def if you do keep going, I would I think say we you will. can make it back to mm -hmm. the train with probably a good hour left before you were can even think about expecting some sort of arrival. Cool, cool. Okay. Yeah. I would say you have an hour, at least, to take care of anything you might want to take care of. So. Once we're back, Tower's going to leave the newly found goods with the rest of the party and, and do a real quick check on the treasure that we're here to watch. Cool. It's just kind of a paranoid I'll come with. Thank you. Um... I don't know if there's like any role that needs to be made here, but just gonna no, it, put my no. eyes on him. Yep, it, fair it looks it looks the same. That's it. Just wanted to be sure. Did any you want to for the remaining hour? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Well, yeah, just now, Aaron knows with me. Like, did you want to take a few minutes to identify those? Um, yeah. Should we do it back over with the party though? Oh sure, oh, yes. Sure. And then I'll identify him. What would you like to identify first? The cloak. The cloak. Uh, taking your time to magically, you know, appraise this item. This is a cloak of death. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... This garment gives you an undead appearance. A skeletal face crusted with desiccation, sk desiccated skin, excuse me, with black holes for eyes. Gives disadvantage. I'll copy and paste this, but I'll bring it to you now. Gives disadvantage to attacks from undead. Because undead creatures are confused by your grotesque appearance. Great for looking like a lich without actually being one. Very interesting. And let me paste that for you so that you... Can... Thank you. Oh, 
I need to be in roll 20, not Discord. Sorry. I, so mm. I suppose it doesn't exactly matter, but I meant to post it here. And assuming you move on to the second thing. Uh huh. This is a grease grenade, a fist sized gla- uh, ball with glass that spills 1d20 plus 5 feet of grease when and where it shatters. Ooh. Can I take this? Does anyone have any other <laughs> purpose for this? It's a grease mm. ball. No, I no. have no reason to carry that. That's just like a little grease spell mm-hmm. in a ball. Except a little different. Thank you. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Um, does anyone feel like they could use the cloak of death? I mean, all it does is give disadvantage to attacks from undead, right? And it also makes you look like the undead. Mm. Sure. Does it require attunement? Uh, where I just took this from doesn't say so. And the way I'm looking at this, while that uh, disadvantage from undead thing is kind of cool, that's pretty goddamn situational. This feels like a, a minor magic item from Xanathar's, so I'm going to keep it that way and say no. We could just keep it in the bag and and use it as we need to. Why keep it in the bag? Is no one willing to wear this? Oh, I don't. I don't really want to look like death. I already kind of feel like it. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Perhaps we should put it away. I mean, someone else can if they want, but. Well, not mm. if it's going to go about reminding you of things. Oh no, that's I see death all around me all the time. I just don't need to make myself look like death. <clears throat> I ain't looking to cause a stir amongst folk. Of which it could point be good you if would we want know. To you would know above all else that would certainly cause a stir. Yeah, we should save for a time when we really need to like freak someone out. Last thing anybody needs is to accidentally <laughs> assume that somebody is a revenant. Let's just not forget that we have it on us next time we run into a revenant. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm keep I'm keeping this list. <laughs> I, just saw, I just saw a few other items that like. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Y'all would <laughs> love. <laughs> oh man, I'm interested. And, and they do not, they do not feel game breaking to me. Is the part I love the most. Mm-hmm. They, they're just goofy. Uh, cool. Anything else you want to do for the proposed times up on that train business? No. No. Nope. Yeah, I, can't I would say. Then I would say, uh, almost on the dot you can hear and then finally see coming over the horizon down the track that's with yours about a one car length worth of train heading in your direction at a you know a reasonable pace that they can control at the end of it that the end that's coming towards you it almost looks like four crab claws that are open does that make any sense it's kind of like mm-hmm. four clamps that are gonna that are basically going to wrap around the part of the train that is sundered. And just before, because I see it's 9.08, just before we start for the eve, I'll say that, Flint, you feel a tug on your coat, and when you look down, that little fella you have with you is holding a crude piece of parchment that has been fink- and uh, it holding up to you. They have finger-drawn an image on it in the goop, you, like using goop. Uh, just do a... Just do a... How would I do that? Art appraisal. I want you to discern the image on. If you can see if you can discern the image on this piece of paper. Uh, insight. Yeah, yeah. I, I would. I would allow for insight. I would allow for uh, investigation. Maybe even just straight up perception. I will. Wait. Do I have a thing for this? Hold on. A what? Yeah. So, that's of course that's on. Sans anything you can bring to the table that would help do that. Okay, this is not the game where I got a, a thingy of minute seeing. So uh, let's go with. I'll take an insight. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like a straight up mess. That's a lovely pony. You can see without an insight check that they're like tapping it more like this, this, this. I just, I just look closer, look closer. Yeah, no, nah, I can't see shit. <laughs> They're going to get what I describe as Tinkerbell frustrated (laughs) and start trying to hold it out to anyone else that could possibly see it. Does does anybody else make heads or tails of this thing? I will take a look. What is it holding out again? 
a piece of parchment that it has gotten a hold of somehow. And there's writing on it, or out of, like a finger drawing out of goop. Oh, it's doing sorry. its damnedest to communicate with people that cannot or will not communicate with the tower with the 17 insight kind of doing the mental math and putting the picture together you recognize this goop image as the same mint that you found on those special coins mm. and seeing that and seeing them they're tapping this image and tapping them tapping this image and tapping them that's where we can leave it for this eve <laughs> <laughs>